Hello and welcome to BQ Prime. You are watching our coverage from the Auto Expo 2023, which has returned after three years due to the gap between uh, after COVID impacted the country. And uh, we are here at the pavilion of Cummins India, uh, the power set uh, generator set uh, product producer of the country. And uh, we have with us Ashwat Ram, the MD of the company. And welcome here to our BQ Prime and thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. So first of all, I wanted to start with your company's products are in a way uh, a reflection of the way the company is growing or the country is growing. So it's reflective of the GDP growth and the output of the uh, country. So how is it looking? Uh, because uh, a lot of people have said that India is the shining spot in a grim world. And uh, so I just wanted to know firsthand what is your experience? How is the industry growing and the country is growing? Uh, so certainly uh, we are pretty optimistic about the short to medium term uh, future for the, for the country. Uh, the mobility industry or the commercial vehicle industry has been in a recessionary phase right from 2019. And then we had COVID in 2020 and 21. We just began recovering from COVID. 22 was a better year. And uh, if the GDP continues to grow at this uh, 7% and better rate, uh, we think there is a lot of opportunity for the commercial vehicle industry to grow rapidly and for us to grow along with that. So we are pretty optimistic about the short to medium term future. So uh, RBI has rate, raised rates by 225 basis points uh, in some eight, nine months. And it is often said that the impact comes with a lag. And so first of all, I wanted to know whether the impact has started to show on in the industry. And if not, uh, when do you expect it to show? Uh, there has been a little bit of impact because of that. Uh, but we have anyway come from a very low base. So the the base effect causes the market itself to want to expand capacity. So the impact of the interest rates will be nullified by the core demand which is there from the market. So uh, it's, it's still positive from our perspective that uh, the market will continue to grow. Government is focusing on uh, pushing more and more cleaner mobility and alternative fuels. So... Uh, I wanted to know from you the first hand uh, that since this new emission norms are coming at in different segments of the industries, so uh, what will be the cost impact on your own products and how will this impact the industry that you cater to? Certainly. So the, the biggest uh, emission changes are coming in two major uh, industries. One is in the commercial vehicle in, uh, industry. Uh, the norms are going to change from OBDA to OBDC. Uh, and that is going to happen in April of 2023. And that will not have a very significant impact uh, on cost. The big changes in cost already happened when we moved from BS4 to BS6. The other area where major change is happening is in CPCB, where the power generation industry is going from CPCB2 to CPCB4+. Plus. And there, there is likely to be a significant uh, impact on cost. Uh, greater than 50%. And the reason for that is the products there are going from pure mechanical products to complete full scope electronic products with the emissions which are going to be the tightest in the world in those products. So we think that will have an impact on the core technology itself and which is why there will be an impact uh, uh, on prices from a customer perspective. But it's an it's amazing from the way we will be able to clean up the environment by making uh, those kinds of changes. Which will be the major industries that are going to be impacted by this CPCB norms that are coming in? Uh, mainly the power generation equipment industry. So wherever power generation equipment is being built, so, so those industries. And uh, recently government has uh, shown what is their plans with regards to hydrogen and the green hydrogen policy and uh, uh, i believe that you have a big play there and with the electrolyzer infrastructure so uh, what is the biggest opportunity that you're seeing right now and how big this opportunity can be within india yeah so as you are aware india is an energy deficit nation so we import all of our oil from countries like russia from the middle east uh, etc but we are also a country which has a lot of green energy so we have the ability to produce a lot of solar energy, a lot of wind energy. And 
lot of that energy can be converted into green hydrogen and then hydrogen as a fuel can be used in uh, internal combustion engines so we are launching hydrogen internal combustion engines uh, at the show we are launching hydrogen fuel cell vehicles uh, at the show we are launching electrolyzers uh, at this show so this represents the future of the country of the of the economy and so we are very excited that uh, many opportunities in this space will be opening up uh, last year we saw a lot of power shortages happening because of the uh, so called shortage of coal and the the difficulties in transporting it from one place to another so uh, do you see that situation arising again this time and uh, what is your opinion on how it will impact your business the grid has been getting more and more reliable but what is also happening is that the power consumption and the demands from users uh, are increasing so and as we move towards an electrified world the needs of electricity will also keep increasing so it's actually a positive impact for, as far as we are concerned you need more uh, electricity we produce generating sets uh, you need to create infrastructure to produce electricity we make engines and other applications so so this growth in the economy which in turn leads to growth of consumption of electricity is is very positive from a commons perspective that was my last question to you and thank you so much for speaking to us it was a pleasure talking to you thank you it was lovely talking to you